everyone! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Crossland. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. Today we are reviewing, I know you've seen this like all over your Instagram, all over your YouTube, all over everywhere, the Natasha Denona Yucca Palette. This is the outer packaging. It feels so nice, so smooth. I did have some Ulta gift cards that I did use to buy this, so I was very fortunate for that. On the back, they do have these little pinholes, which I didn't know. This is my first big size Natasha Denona palette, but you can take out the pans so that is really cool it does have a really nice mirror and here are the shades it kind of gives me a little bit of naked honey vibe slash with greens more greens and this random taupe color um I do really like the color story I think it's pretty I'm gonna show you guys swatches I didn't really have any problems swatching it per se this green one here was a little bit lighter I felt like no matter how much I built it up, it wasn't really that pigmented. There are a couple of those cream to uh, powder types of formulas. The shimmers are very like dry, but still sparkle and shine even without like a glitter glue primer. And all the other mattes were very smooth and most of these are easy to build up. It's just that one matte green that I feel like doesn't build that great. I do wish that this one shade Ray, it's like the only like regular shimmer. <laughs> the rest of them are like those chunky sparkle shimmers. And it's just kind of like, why? Like I wish if it was going to be a shimmer, it would have been one that made, I don't know, maybe looked a little bit more different than the other shimmers that are already in the palette. For instance, like you have this really taupey color, but then you don't have any lighter shimmers to kind of pair it with. I like to do a shimmer all over the lid and one on the inner corner, and this one doesn't really pair that awesome with the greens, I guess. I don't really like it with the greens as much. Like this one has pulls green a lot. Sometimes it looks like this nice champagne color, but it does reflect green. So all of them reflect green except the taupe one. <laughs> so that's the only thing that I think I don't like about the color story. But other than that, I think she's very pretty. So in the tutorial, it was a huge struggle, huge struggle with the shades that I would least expect to struggle with. I, that's why this eye is looking like she had a hot like a hot mess of a day because she did I had to redo her like four or five times and you will see I tried doing like different things and it just did not work out and I think what went wrong was I really expected this shade to be kind of my transition shade but it actually pulls deeper and builds up really fast on my skin tone so it ends up being almost more like a legit crease shade and I was trying to use it as transition for the deeper one and it just became kind of like a muddy muddy mess and it was not good and it was very bad and I'm really sad but let's get into it you can just see for yourself going to prime with this shop alter ego it is just kind of like a basic primer nothing crazy about it, it has doe foot applicator it's a very sheer formula I find this works pretty good with almost all types of eyeshadows kind of like the OG like primer from Urban Decay have a little bit of stick don't have like a ton of color but as you can see it adds a little bit lightness so that it just kind of creates like one solid color base I do have a affiliate code with shop alter ego it is just glitter in all caps even if you don't use my code it is I think very affordable I think we are going to start off with this yellow shade here this one is the formula I don't love this is a cream type of formula and I've never used this on the eye from Natasha Denona I've used the shop alter ego cream formulas so we'll see it seems to be okay it's picking up on the brush just fine as you can clearly see so that is nice about the Natasha Denona shadows they do seem to blend really nice I'm also going to take it all the way down to my actual crease and not just above it because I am going to use that shadow to kind of build upon with the next shade next we're going to whew, so that one was fuchsia <laughs> this one's Ixia I, I'm going to butcher these. I'm so sorry. We're going in this one. Maybe I'm, I'm really bad at saying it. It's the kind of orangey brown matte. So do you see how soft these are? They're, I'm not really getting any kickback and you can really like pack it on and still barely have kickback or fallout. So blendable. I feel like these shadows would be perfect for someone who is a beginner with eyeshadows because you can't really overdo it and they start off lighter, but you can easily build that up as you can see like we built that up pretty crazy like we're actually going to go into that citrine shade here 
which is kind of like yellow green which is what like citrine is right so these are like blending amazingly and the mattes are really good we're going to camu cami which is the green that i like a lot in this palette it's actually like a green so it's this bright almost lime green but somehow can bring this whole palette together and we're gonna put that on the inner corner and then I'm gonna kind of blend it into that last shade we are going to take Kamaruba the shimmers do feel more dry they feel a little more dry I'm gonna put that on top of that lime green to give the shimmer there so pretty and then we're going to take one more shimmer. Go into the more green one, which this one is Makai. Makai I said I wasn't going to say it. This one is more green to gold. Like, it has more green background, though, than the one we just used. The other one is a little bit more of a chunky-ish gold. And we're going to just pack that on. I should have tried it with a brush because I don't really know how well they work with a brush. Very pretty. I feel like this is just like so easy to use. We're going to actually take the same kind of... No, we're not going to. We're going to go into this one, which is this grungy khaki. It's kind of like a khaki. And we're going to bring that underneath the eye. Now that we kind of have that khaki, I'm going to go into Willow, which is this. Actually, I think we're going to go into this one right here, Calithia. It wasn't super pigmented when I swatched it, so it will be interesting right now to see it. <laughs> I feel like you definitely have to build this one up a lot <laughs> for it to get much color. I guess we might as well see what that would look like deepened up. And we're actually, since we're doing more greens on the side, we might as well go into Willow, which is this green here. This one did give me more color payoff than that other color. I don't remember which ones exactly are creams. I know for sure the yellow is, but here is the finished look. I added some brown eyeliner to the top, some green in the waterline, and I did add a little shimmer under my brow bone because it just feels so disconnected here. I, it's pretty, but I feel like it's definitely pretty, but I feel like I could have gotten this look with something else, but I did really enjoy working with the shadows. I think they blended really nice. The shimmers are very beautiful and shimmery, obviously. So let's try a different look on the other eye. We're going to again start with the Shop Alter Ego primer. I felt like it worked just fine with this one. I don't know if these shadows really need any special primer because uh, they just perform really well. Let's, hmm, okay, we're going to go in with Valley. I can pronounce that one. This is just kind of a light toned. This one does have more kickback, I will say, which is odd because it's just like a light brown, <laughs> but that's okay. It's all right. Hmm, I feel like this one is really sticking to that primer more than that last one, so I feel like we have to blend a little bit more. That's a pretty shade though, one that I would definitely reach for every day, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, this type of shade reminds me of the kind of shades you'd find in like the Naked Honey palette, just kind of a little bit more yellow toned browns, I don't know. We're also going to take that under the eye on this one. Now we're going to go into the Dark Brown. This one doesn't have a lot of kick back, this is just a deep chocolate brown. Actually, this is almost like a black, like probably even deeper than a chocolate brown. Definitely like a black brown. I might have to switch blending brushes. Sometimes that's a thing too. You just, <sighs> sometimes if it's not blending well, sometimes it is your brush and not the shadow. Sometimes it's the tool, not the shadow. Sometimes it's how you're, dear God, that looks terrible right now. Like this, I feel like is more my fault. Like I shouldn't have gone in so gung-ho with that shadow. I thought it would have a little more warmth to it. Fooled me, it's not. I'm gonna add some of that orangey shade, I think on top, maybe that will help. <sighs> I don't like the way this is looking. I thought it was going to have a little more warmth to it. <sighs> okay, can we fix this? Can we skip to the good part? Oh my God, okay, have faith, it will get better. <laughs> Oh, this is like, this is like going very badly right now. This is like really bad. I'm really tempted to just wipe it all off. We're gonna go into the first shimmer shade, which is very chunky with sparkles. We're gonna have to figure out how 
to save this. Okay, so that first shimmer shade pulls super green. I didn't think it would, but it does. kind of wish it didn't. I kind of wish it kept more of that gold pinky that it looks in pan, but you can see the green sparkle. Anyways, now we're going into this taupey sparkle. This is like a mess. I'm a mess, guys. This is horrible. And this is when everyone clicked out of the video or were sitting on the edge of their seats saying, can she save this? I don't think so that was really embarrassing bad and i don't even know if i have enough brushes to fix this fiasco that are clean right now okay we're going to try the same colors again i don't know this one just keeps looking really muddy on me this is valley it should be able to be a normal crease oh my god okay i'm really failing at this today i don't know the green eye i feel like everything worked out fine but i mean did anyone else's tutorial go like this i don't think so everyone else's went perfectly voila look at me this is great and then there was me okay i'm gonna pack that all over the lid i feel like maybe that's my only hope at this point is to use it as an all over shade it's like hard for me to blend out for some reason I don't know why, which is weird because all the other shades I felt like could just blend it flawlessly. But this one doesn't like me. Like I'm trying to blend it, it's just not blending that great. It's just like very different brush, different brush. I don't know, I've tried different brushes. I've tried different primers. I, you would, this would be like my go-to shade too. So this like really makes me mad because a light brown should be like the easiest one to work with, right? We're gonna take that taupe. I'm like about to call it quits because I'm getting so frustrated now. Might have to try this another day. I'm getting so mad right now. Okay, going into that dark brown. I'm so over this. <laughs> I don't like the browns in this. That makes me sad. I'm like frantic blending too because it's just not. I'm actually so sad because normally in these palettes I will reach for the neutrals and then build off of that. But obviously this palette was like, no girl, no. That's not how this is going to work for you. And I know you, some of you guys are like, oh, she's doing everything wrong. But I swear this is like sad right now. We're going to go into that purse shimmer because I think I'm just done doing what I was doing. I'm like almost ready just to stick this all over the and say, okay, that's the, the end of the video. And some of you would probably be like, thank God, because I could not watch that anymore. But how pretty. This is nice to kind of just see the shimmer, isn't it? All over the lid by itself. Let's go into Ray. It's kind of like, did anything pick up? Ray is, is this coming off? Ray is, I don't know what Ray, Ray is this. Just like a regular shimmer. It doesn't have the chunky sparkle in it. It almost just adds ba more background to the shade we put on. That khaki color, I don't know. I No, we're going to go into Flax, which is the deep brown color that I am mad at. Like, we are not friends. It ruined my look. We are not on talking terms, but I'm still going to use it. And we're going to go into Bally, the light brown that also was, like, talking back, giving me, I don't like you. Damn, that looks, I know, I just know, like, no one else had issues with this. Like, I know, I know everyone else was like, this is so beautiful. And I just know I am on the struggle bus and I am so mad about it. What is this? Let's, you know, why not make ourselves more mad? Let's add some brown. Maybe I need to do it this way instead of how I was trying. Sometimes you have to find different ways to work with different types of shadows. <sighs> and then that lighter brown on top. I just don't know how to work with this one. I don't know. We start off so good and then we went here. I'm not letting this defeat me. So here we go again into the light brown like my eye is like so jacked up from all these like washing like look at this what is that line i don't know i don't care we're gonna ca <gasps> we're gonna get this to work for me we are we are because i know that everyone else has it work for them and uh so it's me i just know it is okay i like 
thought this, I think part of the problem is I thought that this light brown shade was going to be like more of a light brown shade and it is more of a haha I actually have a lot of depth to me shades. I think that's a part of my problem. It's like really throwing me off especially once you have a primer on like look how deep that's getting on my eye. So I'm like over here trying to use it as Miss Transition shade and she's like no ma'am I'm actually like a deepen up your crease type shade for your skin tone okay so you're using me all kinds of wrong it builds up so quickly so while i feel like all the other shades are super user friendly i don't know about the browns they like sneak attack you you know i'm gonna go into that orangey color to help give it life and back into that taupe because honestly it's the only thing that like is cool tone in this palette now we're gonna take the dark brown I'm just creating a very smoky cool toned eye look here since there's no lighter color we might as well add that bright green for funsies right to make it like different <laughs> and then i'm gonna cry and be like this is so terrible what was i thinking anyways let's go ahead and add that lighter color on top i don't know yeah it would have looked better without it but <sighs> Here's to messing more stuff up. We're gonna just add some to the brow bone because I love messing this up even more because it's my life. I'm gonna take that brown, the dark brown underneath. It's looking a little better than before, but I still don't love it. So I'm gonna finish up this beautiful eye look and call it a day. Oh, it looks better, but I definitely wouldn't do it with the green. Next time I would choose something else. Overall, I do think it's a pretty palette if you like greens. I feel like this is, it does have some neutralness to it. I don't think it's gonna be my favorite palette in the world, which it is probably, I don't know, I, it is pretty, I wish I would have gotten more use out of the neutrals. As you can see, I really struggle with the neutrals. As you can see, I really struggled with <laughs> the neutrals. So I feel like given that point, I'm not going to be reaching for as much as I thought I originally would be because I really would go for this shade so much, but it pulls so cool tone and dark on me that it's probably now not going to be, unfortunately. I'd probably have to use this one more for the types of everyday shades that I really like to use. And this, honestly, will have to almost be a deepening shade. The shimmers are beautiful. You can also wear them all over the lid just for that really intense wet look. I don't think the looks we came up with today are terrible, but I, again, struggled. So, beautiful, but I don't think you necessarily need it. Um, I think if those greens are your vibe but I don't know it's a little bit different of a palette I thought I would like it more I'm actually really sad I don't I I thought I'd get more use out of it but it is what it is uh, I do have a code with Natasha Denona that is an affiliate code it's just glitter in all caps so you can use that only on the Natasha Denona website thank you guys so much for watching please let me know what you think